Hi everyone, um, it's really good to share something from you today from the Bible and I just want to want to give you this one verse, okay, it's from Psalm 119 which is like a really long psalm but it's really worth reading but quite early on it says this in verse 11 it says I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you and when I read that it just really reminds me of the importance of the Word of God and the importance of knowing what God says. Somebody once told me that the Bible should be a bit like your mobile phone in that you keep it with you all the time, you check what it says regularly and you respond to what comes up on it. And I think that's a really good way of thinking about the Word of God. Um, but the Bible verse I read to you talks about hiding it in your heart and keeping what God says in our hearts. Because, you know, we need to keep what God says about himself in our hearts so that we know who he is. We need to keep what God says about us in our hearts so that we know who we are. And so I want to encourage you to keep the word of God in your hearts, to get to know what it says. Maybe you're watching this. And you're even wondering, is there even a God? Well, a great way to start that is by having a look at what the Bible says and allowing the word of God to speak into your life. And so I want to encourage you today to keep the word of God in your heart. And the second part of that says that I might not sin against you. And I think it's so important that we constantly look to God. And the more we keep looking to him, the more we're going to follow the way that he wants to lead us. The more that we acknowledge him in our hearts, the more that we acknowledge him in our minds, the more we're going to keep on just following him and turning away from the things that cause us to sin and cause us to do things that hurt our relationship with God and hurt us. And so I want to just... I just want to just remind you today, and I know I've not said anything that's, that's probably any different to what many of you watching have heard before, but let's keep the word of God central, shall we? Let's keep it in our hearts. You know, it's interesting, isn't it, that it says hidden in our heart, not hidden in our head. And, you know, we can know so much, can't we, about the word of God. But what matters is that it changes our hearts, that it changes who we are. And it causes us to look up, to look up to the one who made us, to look to who he is and to look to who we are. So as you pick up your mobile phone and some of you may even have uh, a Bible on your phone, um, which is one way of, of reading it. Um, remember, check it regularly. See what it says. Respond to what comes up as you Put the word of God central in your life and central in your heart. I know for me, the closer I get to the word of God, the closer I get to God, the more transformed my life is. And the closer I am in relationship with God. So let's keep God's word central. God's word leads us. It guides us. It, it, it just shows us how we can live for God. And so let's today be people who hide the word of God in our hearts so that we can continue to follow him, that we can turn away from the things that aren't of him and that it will cause us to look up to our creator. So I hope that's of some help to you today. And if you're watching this on a mobile phone, don't remember don't remember don't forget that uh, little analogy if that's of some help thank you for listening bye bye